Hello and welcome back to Storytime with Avery. Today's book is Molly the Muffin Fairy. And it looks like it is by Tim Bugbird. And it is illustrated by Laura Ed. This book belongs to Avery. Molly the Muffin Fairy was famous in Fairyland for making perfect muffins, some small and some quite grand. Each one was baked till spongy, golden, soft, and sweet. Her wand put, put in big blueberries to make the treats complete. The, the blueberries are, came in boxes delivered by Mel and Carrie, her two best friends who drove a truck shaped like a giant berry. But then one day when baking, Molly's temper began to fray. Her muffins had no softness. She was having a bad bake day. Her baking got no better, and soon Molly's fairy home was full of rubbery muffins with tops as hard as stone. Molly was not happy. The baking was making her mad. She fussed and fumed and finally flipped. What she did was really bad. She grabbed the tray and muffins and threw them to the floor. Then she took a muffin in her hand and hurled it out the door. The muffin hit her trampoline and bounced up in the air. The strangest scene there's ever been followed on from there. It bounced and bumped and pinged and ponged, flying to and fro, startling a squirrel who scampered and woke a porcupine down below. Up with a start, the porcupine ran to find a safe place to hide. But he poked the edge of Molly's pool, the spikes making holes in the side. Water gushed from the holes, flooding the road in all around. But then Mel and Carrie's truck arrived, but how would they cross the wet ground? Molly cried, it's all a mess, Mel said. Oh, stop whining. Those muffins of yours can help us. Every cloud has a silver lining. Maybe they could make a path, just try and see. So Molly laid the muffins down and the truck crossed easily. Then before the fairy's eyes, the muffins began to expand. Soaking up the water, they became the biggest in fairyland. The muffins feel soft, cried Molly. Don't eat them, though. They're not clean. Let's squash together. I think they'll make the best ever trampoline. Molly learned that when things look bad, you can always find a way to find to see things from the sunny side and turn around your day. The end. I hope you liked today's book and be sure to subscribe below. Bye.